Yo, what's up? It's your boy Miganel Hoy, and today we have a 20 minute low impact cardio workout for complete beginners. Before we get into this workout, I want to go ahead and congratulate you all for pressing play on this workout. That's often the hardest part, and today we're going to do a workout that you can do completely from scratch, starting off as a complete beginner, and work your way up to other workouts. So, if you're going to jumpstart that fitness today, go ahead and get a quick sip of water, put a big old bright juicy smile on your face. We're going to kick this workout off with a very quick warm up. We're going to start with a low impact cardio circuit. Starting with four knee walks, is going one. Two, three, four, and out. One, two, three, four, and step. One, two, three, four. Back into it. Knees up. Three, four. After tight, just a little bit wider. Three, four. Soft on those feet. Two, three, four. To the middle. Up. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Similar motion. We're going to walk out, over. Step over, and out. Drive that knee up, and over. Like you're doing some Tai Chi or some type of exercise. Make sure that core is tight as you step over. Boom. Drive that knee up into Heisman. Left and right. Whew. Walking through that room. Keeping that chest upright. Crunching those abs. And working what you got. You see those mods up there if you need them. From here, we're just going to step into it and jab. Jumping jack. Low impact on the feet. Jabbing straight out. Keep that chest upright. Boom. Step that foot out. Don't bang that elbow as we step into it. Left and right. Whew. Exhale. Sinking your breath with your movements. That heart rate is starting to come up. Whew. We're going to work up a nice little sweat, but trust me, there's lots of different modifications you can do. Take it at your own level. From here, reverse knee taps. We're going to step back, drive that knee up and back. Half the time we're going to spin here. The other half, we're going to spin on the other side. One more tap and up. Switch sides. We're coming back. Tap that knee. Now, this is actually a great way to modify for those who are working their way up to doing a burpee. Stepping back, driving, working through those quads just a little bit. From here, final move. We're just going to hug and love. Good. You got your breath going just a little bit. Kick those feet out. Show that body some love right now. We're going to start with love. We're going to end with love. You got to appreciate your body and push through just to get better and improve day to day. Not hating yourself for none of that. We got to accept where we are and push those boundaries instead of letting them be stumbling stones. Great, from here, 25 second rest, all right? So I got blood flowing through my body. I know you got some flowing through yours as well. Now we're gonna push this workout as far as we can, but trust me, we're not gonna be doing any bumpy burpees, tuck jumps or anything crazy like that. We're gonna keep it strict cardio and without any jumping or any super fast movements, all right? So each workout, you're gonna see some modifications right up here that you can use to push yourself even further. The first move, we're gonna do a cardio circuit. So we're gonna step up one, two, three, four, out. One, two, three, four, butt kicks. One, two, three, four, in, out. One, two, three, four, back in. Drive that knee up, come on. <sighs> out, two, three, four, in. Come on, get that serious face. Two, three, four, out. <sighs> <sighs> Breathe it out, come on. Crunch that core, we're driving those knees up and step it out into a jumping jack. Three, four, butt kicks, boom. Bringing those heels up towards your glutes and over. Two, three, four, and breathe. Good. We're going for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. If you need to take 30 and 30, stop 10 er seconds earlier, get the extra break, and then come back in when you can. The next move is going to take some coordination. We're going to do ISO sprint uh, jab. So we're going to do an ISO sprint here for four, then we're going to jab one, two, three, down, and then drive that knee back up. All right? So we're going to come down. We're going up. One, two, three, four. Left arm. One, over, three, down, and in. Two, three, four, right arm, over, two, three, and down, up, two, three, four, your back is flat, step it out, two, three, down, and in, three, four, over, boom, jab and step into it, down, in, two, three, four, 45 degree angle on your back, down, in, two, three, four, look at those mods, the coordination is a little bit too tricky, one, two, three, Four, and breathe. Got a little beads of sweat on the top of my head. That means we're working it, okay? From here, we do a shuffle step knee. So we're gonna step the foot behind, knee, other side. One, two, three, up, over, like so. Quick sip of water. Always hydrate. 
Everybody's gonna step over. One, two, three, knee. There we go. It may take a few steps to collect yourself. Step that foot back. Good. What's that dance you do at the little cowboy get together thing? We're doing one of those. I forget what it's called. Y'all let me know in the comments. Drive that knee up and tighten those abs. Let's go a little bit faster if you can. Boom. Come on. Up. Still low impact. Really friendly on those knees. Crunch that core to work that six pack. And you really want to keep your abs tight to train for having a flat stomach and keeping your abs contracted throughout the day. One more. Boom. Right on that bell. From here, we have side to side knee march. Similar movement to what we just did, but this time we're going to go one, two, three, four, down. Five, six, seven, eight, other side. Stepping that foot over, four and down. Let's go. Four knees over, abs are tight, chest is up. We're going one, two, three, four, down, eight. Lean forward, six, seven, eight, up, one. Step it over, three, four, and down. Come on, people, you got this. We're working it through each exercise, move, and pushing forward. A lot of times it's hard just to press that play button. But look, you're here, you're getting some progress, and we're going inch by inch, mile by mile, people. Five, six, seven, eight, over. One, two, three, four, down. Five, six, seven, eight, breathe. From here, we have 180. Try jab abs. Okay, so we're gonna come over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like so. Some coordination again. Let's take it. Stab it over. Boom. Two, three to the front. Up. Abs are tight. Drive those knees over. One, two, three. Up. Boom. Two, three. Let's go. Left. Two. Three, right, left, right, right, two, three, left, right, left. Let's go. Boom. Step it out and up. We're getting a lot of core work in today. Let's get it. Keep those feet nice and soft and control every single muscle in your body as you're working through this workout. Two, three. Got a little carry there. Wait there. It's cool. It happens, people. From here. Free throw march, okay? So we're going to score some points right now. We're already scoring lots of points in this workout. We're going to grab the ball. <sighs> throw it up without hopping. Grab. Throw it up. March. Left and right. We're going to gradually go faster as this round goes on. So we're going to grab. Shoot to the left. Shoot. Wrist march. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Shoot. Over. Shoot. And down. Good, now let's go just a little bit faster. Grab, shoot, grab, shoot, and down. Come on. Abs are centered, locked in, a little faster. Whew. Grab, shoot, and down. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight. Grab, shoot, grab, shoot. As you grab, you're stepping, pivoting that leg over just a little bit. Last one. Grab, shoot, grab, shoot, and march. Five, six, seven, eight. Excellent job, people. We're getting close to that fist bump. Just keep on pushing. From here, we have front to back jabs. We're going to catch our breath, just stepping forward. The lead leg is going to come forward the same side as your arm. Don't bang your joints by popping them. Extend. As soon as they extend, bring it back. We're going to step forward for four, back for three, and then switch, okay? Chins down, guards up. We're going one, two, three, four. Walk back, leading with the back leg. Three, switch, forward, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, switch. Let's go. Boom. Three, four. Hit like you mean it without banging those elbows. Switch it out and forward. Two, three, four, jab, back. Two, three, switch. Come on. Two, three, four. You're getting a gray sweat. And I'm so proud of you all from working from where you at, hitting that play button today and coming to push those goals. <sighs> Oftentimes, we like to applaud people when they make it past the finish line. But look, I applaud you for getting started and putting in that work right now. We got a few more seconds. We're going to modified hikers. <sighs> Traditional hiker, you're going to sprint like this for eight and then up like eight. We're going to go one, two, three, four, knees up for four, okay? 
<sighs> Good. So eight, but four butt kicks. Two, three, four, and up. Knees are up. Two, abs are tight. Ah, and back. Two, three, four. Swing those arms as well. Two, three, four. Back. <sighs> Got that sweat going. We're working it. Bring it up. Come on. Those abs are tight now. You're building those six packs low key. All right. <sighs> And back. And up. Three, four. Did you know you'd be sweating this much? A few more people. Last butt kicks. Two, three. Really kick yourself towards those glutes. And that's how you work it, okay? From here, we have agility attack. Two ways to do this, okay? If you really want to be friendly on those knees, don't come low. We're going to agility in and out. Feet are going to be low, and we're going to pedal. Three, Four, if you need to modify, just bring it high without crossing at all, okay? From there, we're gonna go for punches, and then we're gonna go for hooks, okay? So we're down, we're going one, two, three, four uppercuts. One, two, three, four, come along. One, two, three, four, crosses. One, two, three, four, and down. Has a lot, up, cross that core as you throw those uppercuts. Back down, two, come on, three, Four, over, twist, two, three, four, and down. <sighs> Upper, boom, core work, three, four, and in and out. <sighs> four, hook, boom, two, three, four. You got it, we're more than halfway through with this workout. <sighs> two for good luck, way to bring it. From here we have a side to side Heisman. We're gonna keep those feet low until the third one, we're stepping over, one, two, three. One, two, three, like so. If you need to modify, do the steps that we did earlier in the warm up. Come on, we got this. Feet are low, stepping over. One, two, up. One, two, up and hold. When you hold that knee, crunch that core, all right? I want you to really flex your abs as if you were doing like a kegel or contracting using the bathroom, you know what I mean? Abs are tight and over. <sighs> Legs are down, then bring it up. Nice twinkle feet. <sighs> you can keep this workout silent, that way you're not disturbing your neighbors. <sighs> and over. <sighs> Crunch, tight, down. Tighten, over. Breathe, come on. <sighs> One more. <sighs> up, there you go, hold it and bring it down. From here, we have speed bag abs, okay? So, we're just gonna Bounce all those feet like so. You're gonna come up, bring those hands, four, count. And then what you're gonna do, bring those abs. One, two, three, four. Bring those knees as hard as you can. I don't want you coming down. That's not the move, keep those abs tight. So what we're gonna do is hop. One, two, three, four, up, boom. There we go. Bringing those knees up towards those elbows and hopping back into it. Two, three, four, up. One, two, three, Four, reverse, one, bring those knuckles back, three, four, and up, two, three, four, core work, reverse again, two, three, four, up, boom, two, three, four, now we're going forward, two, three, four, come on, up, two, three, four, reverse, two, three, four, working those calves a little bit, all right, from here, we have side to side jab march, okay? So you know how to bring the jab now. You're not gonna pop your elbow, all right? You're gonna extend and bring it in. We're coming over one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna march, all right, for an eight count. <sighs> Combining some of the moves that we previously did to bring it even further. We're going one, two, three, four, march it out, boom. Really tighten those abs, people. Come on, <sighs> three, Four, even if you don't see that six pack today, you're building on it, all right? You're planting that seed right now by training your abs to stay flat, and that's gonna help with reducing the appearance of your belly popping out. Let's go. All right, six, seven, eight, and build good functional core strength. Three, four, come low. Five, six, seven, eight, just three more exercises. You might have had to dare yourself to hit that play button today, but you're getting so close to get in that fist bump. <sighs> Way to go. From here, we have a power core combo. Two ways to do this. If you wanna be friendly on knees, stay upright. Otherwise, we're gonna drop it low a little bit. Isometric hold, okay? We're gonna drop for four. <sighs> Twist for four. <sighs> knees for four. All right? 
So we're going one, two, three, four, twist. Two, three, four, knees. Two, three, four. Abs are tight. Keep that chest up. Good. Driving those knees up, left and right. Let's go. Twist it out. You're using the torso as you go left and right. Using those obliques and bringing it. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Twist. Up. Two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Twist. Yeah. One. Come on. Power. Three, four. Give me four punches for good luck. All right. Good. Second to last move. So we do a tire step front to back, starting going towards your left. So we're going one, two, three. Stepping those feet. Then back. Then once we come back, we're going to go opposite direction first, okay? We're in a zigzag, going towards the left. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. One, two, three, and over. Now bring it back. Two, three, four. Now we're going that way. We're going over. Switching it up. And back. Got to hit both sides. Drive those knees up. We just have one more exercise move after this. Come on. Switching it up that way. Breathe it out. And back. One, two, three. Come on. One more. Good. Now we brought it this whole time. This is our final move. We're going with a tri knee combo. This is going to be our finisher. All right, so if coordination is your issue, what I want you to do is stick to doing four knees. One, keep it low even. Three, four, switching over, and giving me four here. Otherwise, four knees to the side, four in the middle, four to the opposite side. Abs are tight, chest is up, and we're bringing it over. We're going one, two, three, four. To the middle, come on. Two, three, four. We're burning out, and over. Two, three, four. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four. And to the left, boom. Three, four, back to the middle. Go at your own pace. Mod it out if you need to. Turn up if you can. Let's go. Three, four, I'm sweating. We're burning calories, blasting away fat. We only got 10 more seconds. Let's go. Two, three, four, last one in the middle. One, two, three, four, one for good luck. Boom, way to go. You got a 20 second rest here. The hard part is over, do not Stop this video right now. We're gonna stretch out the body, which is a very important thing to do when doing these workouts. So you can come back and keep on fighting, reduce the risk of injury, reduce soreness that you're gonna feel, and just be healthier and more mobile throughout your body. So we start off with loving ourselves. We're going back to hugging love. And you gotta love and appreciate your body after doing that workout. I don't think people love themselves enough, right? So we're gonna take this little moment to appreciate our body, getting us all the way through this workout. We're just gonna kick out, open up the chest, and kick those feet out. From here, we're going to wide rocker. Chest is up. Your butt is going to go back. You're going to inhale up. Then exhale down. Good. Lock those arms. Four heads down. We're going to rock left and right. <sighs> Taking care of our spine. Legs are straight. From here, we're going to come to the floor. Hands on your shoulders. Knees under your hips. We're going for cat cow. So you're going to exhale. <sighs> Abs come up and tight. Head down, butt down. Inhale. Relax the stomach down, butts up, heads up. All right, so we're going concave and convex. As you exhale, sing your breath with your move. Inhale. Excellent job. Exhale. <sighs> Neutral spine. Bring your feet together. Separate your knees. We're going to bring your hips back, reaching those hands forward into the child's pose. Now, take your left hand towards your left, your right hand towards your side. And we're going to bring the hips back and towards the right side. We're bringing that left armpit down towards the ground, getting a great stretch in those right ribs. Now bringing those hands back to the middle temporarily in child's pose, sinking back. Now right hand towards the right, left hand towards the left, hips are back and towards the left, and breathing it out. Good, armpit is down. Now come make your way up to your feet. What we're gonna do is a hamstring stretch. So you're gonna bend your right knee, you're gonna inhale up, left leg is gonna come out nice and straight. You're gonna grab onto those toes with both hands. You're pushing your knee back towards the back of the room with your hip going back as well. You're flexing that foot and getting the straightest left leg possible, working your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes, lower back and shoulders. Now roll forward, come back other direction. We're coming up. Exhale down. This time left knee is bent, right leg is straight. Good, flexing that foot, pulling on those toes. Abs are locked in as you work your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes, lower back, shoulders are stretching, abs are tight, 
and you're just leaning into the stretch, sinking your breast with the move, getting deeper. Roll forward, slowly, come back. Now, our, left, our right foot is down, we're reaching under the left foot with our left hand. Hold on to a wall if you need to for balance. Your knee is going straight down, your hips are coming forward. You're pulling heel towards your glutes, you're extending your right arm out, if you can. Final side, then we get our fist bump. We're gonna reach under that right foot with the right hand. Knees are straight down, hips are coming forward. Heels are coming towards your glutes. You're working the quads, the front top part of your leg. Hold on to a wall if you need to. Arm is straight up. 